Hi, so I'm trying to go back to our channel. I'm Taylor Ann. And I'm Lori Ann. And, and together, together we are Mad Curls. And welcome to another Mad Curls video. Um, I am shocked based on like all the videos that we've done on the channel like the past two years that we've never, we don't have like a video like this because mm -hmm. we have so many, um, like what are they, types categories. of videos, categories yeah. like favorite shampoos and favorite deep conditioners and deep conditioners with most slip and no and no coconut oil with coconut oil. Like we have all those right. kinds of videos. Yeah. But we did have one with Protein, protein like our favorite protein treatments i think the simplicity of it i think we're trying to complicate it and get into the the reasons why and types of proteins and yeah, all of that yeah there's hydrolyzed protein and yeah. this protein and that protein so like we're not getting we're not this is mm -hmm. not a science lesson we're not here to get all up into the ingredients but just like straightforward like Deep mm -hmm. conditioners that we know are p protein treatments. Right, because you love hair. moisturizing conditioners. Yes. And my hair gravitates towards protein conditioners, and it always has, even before I was on the channel, little did I know that I was using conditioners that had protein in them, mm -hmm. and my hair always just bounced back, so to speak. Yeah. So um, I am speaking strictly from experience, not necessarily from such of a uh, scientific knowledge base, mm -hmm. but more from experience and navigating my way through all the products since I've been on the channel and what are my favorites, what I kind of like reach for now. Yeah. Um, but yeah, again, like we said, not so much um, the like knowledge. Like the hardcore getting down into it. It's always you guys in the comments like, that can kind of like get down and do it. And, yeah. and please do, you know, in the comments, share different types of protein, the reasons why, mm -hmm. all of that. So, so what we do know though, is that your hair needs like a balance of like moisture and protein. Mm -hmm. So like you absolutely need protein, even if you're like sensitive, sensitive, sensitive to protein, like you still need some sort of like protein treatment every now and there and every now and then in your hair to like keep like the balance. Right. So like what protein does to your hair, um, or at least when you know, like if you need protein, I Googled it online, girl. I was Good like, so on. how do you need one? Okay. Right. Okay, girl. I like that research, guys. Research. research. Okay, so how do you know that your hair needs protein? It says your hair doesn't have bounce back. Um, it looks limp or like it breaks. Okay. And so, like, I always know, like, you know, like, you have, like, amazing bounce back on your curls. Like, when mm -hmm. you pull it, it springs back, like, into place. But right. if your hair doesn't, like, have that elasticity or, like, your hair is not bouncing back or it's just, like, laying, like, limp and flat, like, no matter what you do, your curls just aren't your curls. You're just kind of looking busted. Mm -hmm. Like, you probably need some protein in your hair. Hey, guys. Don't mind me. I'm going to switch. I just shine my glasses so they could match the aesthetic. <laughs> I'm about to put them on. <laughs> So <clears throat> now, moisture because it says you can need like how you know you have too much protein or too much moisture. You need mm -hmm. to kind of like go back like into the middle. So it says when you have too much moisture in your hair, your hair feels like limp, lifeless, and weak. Like I've definitely gone. I think it's called high growth fatigue. Right. I've definitely gone into high growth fatigue a few times because like I'm just obsessed with like moisture, overly co-washing my hair. Like right. my hair is just like. It, it has like almost mushy. mushy. It's right? like this mushy feel. Yes, when yeah. it's wet and when it's dry, what is it? it like the curls again, they're not springy. Like it's just it's flat. Too it's much. weak. Like your hair is like it's weak. Like okay. you can tell you have too much too much pro uh, too right. much moisture. So you might need to bring it back into the protein. Mm -hmm. But then you could overdo it with protein. Yeah. And you know you overdo it with protein, which I've done again. Mm -hmm. Um, your hair is stiff. It's dry. It's brittle. I was say brittle it will yeah. tangle fairy knots. All that kind of stuff. Yes. if you go too far in the protein direction. Mm -hmm. So, um, and that's what yeah. I'm learning this year that I'm attributing a lot of my damage and dryness to the highlights, but I think I'm trying to repair the highlights because the quick thing I'll grab is a protein treatment. Anything that says restore, restoration, mm -hmm. repair, anything, when you see those labels, um, or those words on a deep conditioner, most likely somewhere in the back, you will see whether it's at the top, the bottom, the middle, wherever, yeah. you will see some sort of form of protein. Reconstruct. Exactly. So those I'm kind thinking, of words. Right. Yeah. I'm thinking I did damage with the highlights, and so now I'm going to grab protein, and my hair is getting drier and drier, and mm -hmm. I'm not necessarily sure it's the highlights. It could be because I'm over-proteining. Is that a word? My hair, <laughs> as much as this side of the table loves protein, yeah. I just might be overdoing it. Yeah. And this, like, we're going to show you, like, different levels. There's, like, hardcore protein mm -hmm. treatments, and then there's ones, like, you that are just, like, like light protein treatments. I typically right. stick in the light protein treatment range when I need one because a little bit of protein goes a long way with my hair. Could have something to do with porosity, 
Um, for those of you who want to get really like dig into it, uh, I believe we were told one time our like porosities have something to do with it. You're high porosity, mm -hmm. so you really like can handle protein. Your hair loves right. protein. Yes. I'm like medium low porosity, mm -hmm. and my hair like a little bit of protein goes a very long way with yeah. my hair. It gets dry very fast. Yeah, no, so. you just definitely do not. And I have been known to put protein treatments in and and sleep overnight. Um, I've used them as leave-ins, even though they've been deep conditioners. I mean, my hair can really stand protein. Mm -hmm. I love protein that much, and my hair does. And you can just tell, like, it just bounces back. Like, if yeah. you guys know me, you know the channel. And if not, if you're new, welcome. Oh. Um, but you can just see, look at, like, all the coils. Yeah. You know, though this is all highlighted and, to me, you know, damaged, whatever, uh, of sorts. But it's just so much because today I used a protein treatment on my mm -hmm. hair and I felt like it really needed it and yeah. it just absorbs it and then you can see because it just looks healthy even mm -hmm. though to me it's bleached to the max but um, it looks healthy yeah yeah so like you're new to protein treatments um, we're gonna let you guys kind of like know like the different like levels like you know when we show you this product like we'll say like whether it's like a hardcore protein treatment or if it's like something like lighter right if you're new to like using protein on your hair definitely start light don't do it overnight like sleep in right, it and all because right. I slept in mine I think for like two days and that's how I got protein overload and it like completely damaged my hair like two years ago so mm -hmm. um don't do that but just kind of start light and we'll let you know the ones that we recommend for like beginners or whatever right um so we have a list basically Lori will be doing like a lot of the talking because again I only have like a few here because I really I don't have like a whole long like I have stacks and stacks and stacks of moisturizing yeah, deep do. conditioners because that's just where I am like I love moisturizing deep mm -hmm. conditioners I don't have a lot of protein but you have a whole bunch because you like I protein do. deep conditioners I definitely do so if you hear any like extra treatments? noise yes that would be doggy. He's over there. Okay, he's over doing there. Doing good boy things. Doing good boy things. Yes. What does he have? He's crying. I'm sorry. But does he have see. a sock? Did he get something else? He has, oh, he has sweaters and shirts over here. Oh, okay. Hold, right. please. Hold, I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay, so we're just going to get started. He's yes. doing the best he can. Okay, so in the beginning of my journey, when I didn't know anything about proteins, um, I did, I was suggested years ago, Aflogy. Now, the name Aflogy scares many. Some it does not. Ever since a few years ago, maybe two or three now, I think we got it in the uh, gift bag um, at New York Fashion Week. Mm -hmm. They're kind of like their um, launch of their new kind of like lesser intensity. But years ago, my absolutely favorite, and I mean immediate, immediate result was this one who's familiar with this one this two-step protein treatment and what you do is it's liquid you know shake it up of course and then you put it all through your hair mm -hmm. and then you have to kind of like blow dry it in to the point where your hair is just hard like doll hair like it's scarily hard where it can easily snap it oh, says do not off. manipulate mm -hmm. your hair at that point so you dry that in and then i think at that point then you rinse it out and then you use your balancing um shampoo let me see what it is because now this one has like i had a i had the bigger one the bigger pink one and that was your balancing and do you go in with the shampoo first you, and then first you, you shampoo put your hair i always use the damaging shampoo for my hair put okay. that in first then i put this in then once you blow dry this in and it gets really really hard um i use what they call it um their it's like a two-step thing it's their a pH, ba pH balance, balance. Bringing yeah. your hair back. It's right. normally in a pink bottle like mm -hmm. this, but I'm going to now refer to this kit, okay? Because now this is like three week uh, kind of help system, treatment system, and this was like a six week. This would last six weeks. The damage and the fallout and all of that would stop on a dime, and it would last in your hair for about six weeks. Mm -hmm. This one has lesser intensity and almost feel like it's a little safer to use. Yeah. I don't like it, I have to admit, as much as I like the original. However, it is a quick thing to do, and maybe people might feel a little safer to use this one. But again, you go in first with the say um strengthening treatment mm -hmm. and then you rinse it out and i believe you bring it back now afoji i feel like is like the ultimate like your hair is completely damaged of like yes like like some kind color damage relaxer chemical damage like whatever like your everyday like day-to-day -day, like protein treatment if you need right. a protein treatment like afoji is, is intense yeah this it's is intense. like you said when you see market damage when you've done maybe over colored your hair when your hair is just damaged like when my hair was like really kind of like falling out and really going through mm -hmm. um i try everything before you finally have to like do the big chop and if this doesn't work then i'm feeling like okay it's too late this nothing's going to bring it back so this is major 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 hair damage yeah. this is not for where they say um 
you need protein maybe once a month, if that. Like people really don't need protein all the time, but if you feel that you do, then you would use the other ones that we have on the table. Mm -hmm. But this is when you see a lot of damage. Like when I um, first went natural, I, I box dyed my hair jet black and like it all fell out and mm -hmm. I had just like got a relaxer too. So the relaxer and then I dyed it and then my hair fell out. And the first thing you did, you were like, where's the Afro G? And like right. you put Afro G in my hair because it was like falling out by the handfuls. Yeah. Like my hair was coming out. And, and it really it almost like shedding. stops it out of dye. Yeah. I'm not saying in all cases. One time in my case, it did not stop because it was internally. It mm -hmm. was something, it was medication that I was taking and it was coming from an internal cause. So that was not going to help it. But uh, things that people do, maybe heat damage or you know um the color damage all that yeah it may you know i'm not saying 100 percent, but it may like slow down the shedding slow, slow it down slow down production try to halt the damage yeah. at that point so this again was the original and it comes along again with another bottle pink ph balance I, I don't know what it's called it's not this is not what it's called on this one because this is kind of like a yeah a but typically you can, you can buy it online if you put in like Absolutely. apple g like two yeah. two step protein like they, you typically you buy them together yeah so it's it says online. ph optimized so that's what like you know i remember it like you have to, you must do that you cannot just rinse this out and put in any old conditioner you this is like i guess maybe whatever it does it does something to your hair and you've got to bring it back to its proper ph and that is the product that you use for that. Mm -hmm. So this is a heavy duty one when your hair is severely damaged. And Apple G's been around for years. Okay. Okay, so another thing that I will use that I have been using for years is by Curl Junkie. This is called Repair Me. And this is again the word reconstructive hair treatment. And I have used this for years. Like I said before I was on the channel, I was using this. I did not know. I was putting it in my hair, leaving it in. I love the way it smells. It has a very fruity tropical smell to it. So I was just kind of using it as a leave-in and so that's at that point when I realized once Ooh, I was on like the bananas. channel that my hair loves protein but nowadays I don't do that because now you know when you know better you do better mm -hmm. so I use it perhaps once a month there's so many since I've been on the channel that I kind of interchange so I haven't used this probably in a couple of months but this is one that I definitely reach for that I keep in my arsenal curl junkie it runs for maybe approximately maybe 29 dollars something like that now but it is excellent it's like not on the level of afro g but it is a it is a serious um protein conditioner and you would use it probably once a month if your hair would need it um again it's not something i think that you would use on every like wash day if you wash your hair two three times a week and your hair likes protein i simply probably wouldn't do that anymore it's it's a serious one mm -hmm. but um but it's not as serious as afro g Okay. Okay, what do you have? No um, offerings. I want to talk about this one because this okay. kind of like got me like liking protein mm -hmm. treatments. Like, oh, this is good because like I just knew like my hair didn't like protein, but we tried this and um, we did a video and I was like, oh, I like this. So I was using this for a while. The the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Yogurt Hydrate and yes. Repair Protein Power treatment mm -hmm. and it came out with like a whole kind of line um they did they it was like the shampoo conditioner like this treatment and then like a leave-in and then like some like right the edge sealer yeah, the something. sealer right the ends yeah, the sealer. sealer for the yeah. ends or something yeah busted. this was the thing that we <laughs> gravitated towards that yes. we loved yeah. yeah so this is like a nice like beginner kind of protein mm -hmm. treatment this is a really really good one it's very popular this is the conditioner the deep conditioner with protein on in it, it. we mm -hmm. definitely have a video on it mm -hmm. Um, that made me, that opened up my eyes to think that when my hair is damaged, like, hey, I don't have to reach for Afro G. Because right. I used to always think Afro G, Afro G. Like, when I thought of protein, I thought of Afro G. Mm -hmm. But this was the first one. Though I had been using this one for years, I didn't equate kind of like the two. But this was the first time that I saw, like, the Boing Back, the Boing Back um, curls. That, yeah. Wow, it works just as good as Afro G. And it's not as harsh and it's not that whole process of the blow drying and your hair's crunchy and mm -hmm. you know the fear of like your know, hair breaking off. So this is the one that opened my eyes that protein treatments have levels. Yes. And this is a level that is um serious, but it's doable. Yeah. You know, it's definitely doable. So I love this one. And me being like, I don't wanna I don't wanna say protein sensitive, but like protein sensitive, like, mm -hmm. you know, I'm very sensitive to protein. Um this is a good one. This doesn't like dry my hair out or anything like that. So I really, right. I always recommend this. This is one of the ones I recommend to people when they ask. Um, it's the Shea Moisture one. is a very, very good one. Mm -hmm. So there's that. Okay, so then oh, another yeah. one I have, again, uh, Beauty Curls. They had another one, you know, and I didn't check today on the website. I know they discontinued it. And sometimes you never know, companies discontinue things and they bring things back. I didn't check to see, but they had another one, my favorite one. 
um, that they made, but the ingredients in it were discontinued, so they can't get those ingredients anymore. So therefore, they discontinued the one that I love that was called Curl Fix. I've mentioned it from time to time with the same sob story that I can't get it anymore. But this one is equally as good. In my hair today, I wanted to just like try it one more time because like I said, we do this all the time. We you know we constantly try products out. Mm -hmm. So um, I hadn't used this one in a while because there's so many things to choose from. But I said, let me just make sure before I bring this on if it still does what I think it does. And it does. I mean, look at this. Okay, this is the Boing Back. My hair was dry, very, very dry before this. And um, though my curl pattern is very distinct, it just looks even just like more bouncier. Yes, yeah, so it's very Can bouncy. Can we your hair with today, girl? Let the um, today, I oh! Curl Junkie. I Pattern Pusher. Oh. The Beauty Curls. Um, wait, this is Beauty. Yeah, it's Beauty, Beauty Curls Leave-In. And I washed it with Daily Fix. I, the whole thing is mm, Curl Junkie today. Mm -hmm. That's cute. Thank you. Cute. So, um, but this, again, you put it in, leave it in for three to five minutes. It is a protein treatment. It says here, conditioner, uh, revitalize, revitalizing, I go something here, strengthening, see anything strengthening, revitalizing, revitalizing, reconstructing. Mm -hmm. So in here, um, and this is where we're going to kind of like get into the signs and I don't understand the signs, but I looked today to make sure it definitely has the protein in it and it had something down here, um, some keratin, yeah, keratin amino. Keratin, yeah, yes. so okay. you want to see keratin, okay. So this definitely does it. And the way it reacts to my hair, when I put this in, the blowing back. So this is a fabulous, fabulous um, Online it called it the bounce back. Oh, <laughs> it's called the boing. The boing back. The boing back. Hashtag okay, boing back. so I've been using this for years. It's always been in my arsenal. Um, as a matter of fact, I have another one in my room. Um, those that follow the channel know that I will like drag up things from 10 years ago. And I dragged up something from 10 years ago. I think it was the Beauty Curls leave-in. It was um, opened, I think, one time 10 years ago. And then I opened it to use it again perfect everything the same i'm not saying that everybody does that okay but for Shout me out the brands with products with shelf lives of 10 years i know so the original one smells very floral and that's the only thing i didn't like about it was that floral scent because it didn't align with the rest of like their products because their products normally smell very tropical very fruity very uh coconutty you know that's saying that they have coconut in them they might i don't know but Just i like scent. that tropical scent yeah and so this they redid last year and they uh, aligns up with the rest of their products so this smells again like the tropical fruit salad that all their products smell like mm. the other one i still have in my closet very floral very flowers very perfumey never really cared for it however the results um they speak for themselves but beauty curls is another one from curl junkie that i love and it's a protein treatment okay okay all right so i'm gonna talk about briogeo yes. um because we were just kind of like searching um protein treatments just to see like make sure we weren't like missing anything or something mm -hmm. we might forget about because like we have so many products all over the place We're like oh yeah i love this and I just not mm -hmm. remember so the briogeo don't despair repair deep conditioning hair baths is one of my absolute favorites i absolutely love it i always say like on it it says you'll see a difference in your hair after like three uses or something and like one time my hair was just really busted just curls not boinging not shiny just flat and just it was they were, just, they were just like busted and i read this on here and i used it and definitely after three uses like my hair looked completely different mm -hmm. and um you know healthy again shiny curls boinging and like mm -hmm. i didn't know like that's because like there was like protein in there i was like oh i thought it was just like a really good mask like, i didn't really know all the the signs and the ingredients in it that made it do right. like you know what it did and you did it because you probably wouldn't have used it as freely because yeah. you are so afraid of protein yeah no i was but, using it a lot yeah and then so like we have like a rule in the house that someone likes something then the other one really doesn't really use it so yeah. i never really had a chance to experience the briogeo um maybe once but nothing too memorable mm -hmm. probably too afraid to have a memory of it um can't get too attached can't get here. too attached yeah so that's your thing so i've never used briogeo for my um and hair. i would say it's like a, like a light medium i guess kind of like protein it has protein in it definitely moisture so it might be one of those like duo like it has moisture in it okay. and it has protein in it um and because I was I was using it kind of like frequently for to deep condition my hair with okay. and um, definitely three times I wanted that those three uses like let's see yes. I three uses yeah. so um, for three I, when I deep condition like you know during my week for three weeks like and I use it and my hair look different but um, I would say this one um, would be good for people who you know can't take a whole lot of protein I think it's like a good 
like a good balance yes. in here. And I do, I am fond of those types of treatments that do have moisture and protein right. in them because I love moisture. Maybe a little bit of protein in there as well. Mm -hmm. um, some are just like hardcore, like this is a protein treatment, like that's it. Like, right, boom. that's what you're um, coming in for, that's what you're getting. Yeah, right. this is what you came for. Yeah, like, <laughs> so then like there's Apple others. G, you have to use right. that, uh, that pink bottle to bring back like the life because the moisture has basically been stripped yeah like that one it adds it does both yeah it does both so um really 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 love this one this one's a little pricey it's definitely up there like oh we weren't really ever like checking for briogeo it's just like this kind of like, this one product of briogeo that completely love love this one and i would mm -hmm. buy it again again definitely worth the coin yeah very good and we have a video on this as well we do we do Okay, speaking of a duo, which I never knew it was a duo, um, however, no wonder when I found out I loved it, was Afrotastic by Sotanicals. Never knew it had some protein in it. And the reason mm. and the way I found out was because last year, I think during the World Hair Show, trade show, when was it? I don't World, know. World Hair Show? The World Hair Show. Natural they World. had a, like a fabulous pamphlet. And in the pamphlet, they listed every one of their products, or maybe the ones that were represented at, at, the, um, at that show, and um the, and the deep conditioners which i love because mm -hmm. that was something i meant to do like we kind of like wanted to do but it's just like that's like time consuming that's a lot of work they have a lot and so of them. who better to do it than than the brand mm -hmm. okay and so they did it and in this in their pamphlet this was listed under kind of like protein yeah and i'm like no wonder my hair loves it so much because again one of those things and i never really cared for it the way right. you would rave about it and yes. i would i tried i was like i don't see the hype yeah. i don't see the hype and so the slip out of this world because my favorite one before this was um curl junkie again curl rehab and those that are familiar with curl junkie like it's like an og product uh, curl rehab and so for years i used that but when this came along people always want to know um, you know, if you had to choose, and we have that video, if you had to choose, and in that video, I believe I spoke about this. If not, I know definitely around Christmas time, I finally, like, you know, came clean, so to speak. Like, if I had to choose, this is what I would choose over that. Eek, slightly, it kind of eked it out. And now I know why, because it had protein in it. So today I was like, looking, looking, looking. Um, and somewhere along the line here, I saw something about some anthanol. It's, 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 it's light protein. Yeah, very, very light. It's light protein. But whatever it was, my hair caught on to it. I'm like, that's why I get that bounce back. But again, I was reaching for it for the moisture. It's hydrolyzed whole protein. Yeah, that's right. But yeah, the word something protein. Yeah. 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 Um, you guys always say, well, that means the moisture. That means. Yeah, I don't think panthenol's like, protein. Yeah. What is panthenol, guys? I don't know. Girl, what's girl, girl, panthenol? Why are we sitting up here? But anyway. <laughs> How are we doing our best? Okay, charge to our heart and our brains, right? Yeah. All right, but anyway, um, love Afrotastic. It has that little eeny, beeny, eeny, beeny, because the pamphlet said it. Mm. So that's how I knew, and I'm like, no wonder. But incredible slip, love the smell, all of that. Um, and that's it, Afrotastic from um, so Sotanicals. Tables. So always have this, always have a jar on hand. Here we go. All right, what else do you have? Let's talk about Meech. Okay. Is that my Meech? Yeah. Okay. So I think, like, the number one deep conditioners, moisture and protein, mm -hmm. can, like, go to Meech. Like, it's just so easy. The brand's so easy. They have yeah. moisture one. They have a protein one. You need both. Yep. Get both. Both amazing. But we're talking about the protein one right now. Right. Um, when, the, when this first came into the house, I snatched the moisture one. You took the protein ones. Yes. And, um, but recently I tried... The protein one is called Strengthened uh, Protein Deep Conditioner. Smells amazing. The mm -hmm. product smells so. Oh, it smells, it smells so good. So good. It, it so has good. like a sweet, kind of, like what is it? Like sweet kind of fruity uh, kind of fruity. Yeah. Oh my god, it smells so good. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, I tried it a couple weeks ago because I needed protein mm -hmm. and I loved it. I was like, this is amazing. This is just as amazing as like the moisture one, except it's protein and yes. my hair needs protein. Yeah. Like they're and perfect. How did you react what, when you put it in? What did what did it do? Like my my curls kind of like like clumped together yes. again. Yes. And, yeah. And That's they perfect. were shiny. Clumped. Yeah, yes. they like clumped together. Yeah. And I'm like, yes, protein's been in my hair. Like I need this, but it wasn't yes. too much. It's like the perfect amount. Yes. It's just a perfect protein treatment. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah, it's amazing. That's the one I gravitate towards now out of the ones I've held up here. I love them all that I've held up. But this one to me has like really grabbed my heart. Okay. Mm -hmm. I love this so much. I love the smell. I love the application. And I love the results. It, again, I look at the mirror and I'm like, wow, like I didn't have to do all the work. I didn't have to do the blow drying in with the Afogee. I didn't have to do a whole lot. Like you get the results. I mean, yeah. the other ones, you get the results. Absolutely. But like, they're like, so these are like so obvious yeah. and it pairs with anything. We did a treatment Tuesday. Did you do this? Did I do the moisture one? I think we put, I think yeah, we put absolutely. both on camera. Yeah. We put both on camera in a treatment yeah. Tuesday. Yeah. Um, 
and we applied it and like mm -hmm. we show your results show my results with the moisture yeah. one but um this is amazing because there were questions people saying well taylor like i know you don't like protein like how yes. did it do and like basically like, a year later i finally tried it okay and it is amazing i love yeah. it even for like my hair that can't take a whole lot this mm -hmm. is just really really good and love any it. styler that follows that your hair just looks fabulous and i never know to attribute it to the styler that i used mm -hmm. or this because like the base yeah because like you, you know how you hair. do your hair when you're natural and you constantly either just keep co-washing it each wash time and but every now and then you have to do that deep conditioning that moisture or that protein mm -hmm. and whenever i use this any styler that follows it no matter what the brand is my hair always looks really really good okay. obviously good so yeah, yeah i love meach meach number one mm-hmm that's whole video recommend meach first check yeah. out meach products first yeah their really moisture and their um protein treatment Did they super easy i think there was like some few like limited edition kind of things they were dropping but like their their okay. main collection is just simple and straightforward like shampoo treatments either moisture protein style like their their line their main line that looks like this this black and white and the turquoise okay. like it's like really simple straightforward and mm -hmm. so really good stuff what's okay. next so the next what i have is again once again i think that's my last one here because again we kept the list very short mm -hmm. succinct and this is coming from experience from what i have used what i've loved and we've used tons of things i don't see on your side of the table though tgin um i never tried like it uh, the, the rx i thought that um that that they they had a uh, i'm sorry a protein one i didn't try it though they had a moisture and a protein one oh. i went through the moisture one like crazy i've never tried the tgin the okay. um, repair X. okay okay wow but okay. i should yeah, yeah. all right because today, today I, yeah i would probably leave you for that one instead of this one but it doesn't oh, matter really anyway. girl you be using how you use tgin no i don't but today just kind of because we were doing the video oh, she was working girl and she texted me to be ready when she got was home. she ready when i got <laughs> home though. you were you were more ready than i thought you'd be okay okay so i'll give you that i got home at like three where we got on camera around like 5 30 <laughs> so okay you're more ready than i thought you'd be okay so by its sheer nature um the oh, everybody doing this whole rice tonic thing and so if you don't want to start boiling rice and draining it and draining it and all of that i haven't heard a whole bunch about that remember all the videos were pouring Listen, out you know, last year around we fake cared for like a month about yeah. rice treatments yeah maybe a month maybe two months and but, then like the hype went down again yeah but um <laughs> i cared and so i bought a few of these from sotanicals i do love it um initially i was using it quite a bit um i haven't as of late however I mean, it's just fabulous. I love it. For whatever the rice was supposed to do for people's hair, I guess it did for mine because mm. I loved it. And I do it also with their co-wash, which is the sprout. So this is sprout follicular rice tonic. Mm. It has protein in it. And this sprout rice vitamin butter shampoo, I'm assuming because it's, um, it's got rice water in it, right? Girl, read the, read the ingredients. Um, I don't know if it does or not. Um, but Girl. this definitely does because it's rice water. And... Um, does that have protein in it? I mean, if it has rice, then is the rice the protein part? Mm, perhaps. Girl, why you brought this over here? Girl, because that's what I thought. That's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, um, it helped my hair. Girls, my protein, hair, though. Um, I don't know. I think rice has protein. And that's why you uh, people were telling you to be careful about all this rice treatment. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Because of yes, rice and yes, the protein and all yes. that. So that's why, again, like we said, we're not scientists. And we're not here for a scientific lesson. We're just a busted lesson. daughter duo. Mm -hmm. We team. are here okay, simply. But does it smell good, though? Yeah, um, I think it does. Girl, you like that smell? Yes, I do. And oh. as a matter of fact, I was looking at the reviews today, and somebody said that they got one. The only thing about Sotanicals is that um, you kind of like never know what you're going to get because it's a natural brand and the products sometimes i guess they do can their vary own thing. and like consistency in yeah. a sense and yeah so this one i understood what she meant because she said this one was kind of like almost translucent and it was like a little runny it was thick and runny at the same time if you can kind of like understand that which i exactly i understood what she was saying but then the new one that she got she said was thick and white and opaque and she just did not trust that it was the same product i don't know what that's about you know i can't speak for sotanicals well it's the same oh, thing with, with their afrotastic people were saying like yeah if but once they put it in in sally beauty like the consistency was very runny and like mm -hmm. it was darker and they were and but sotanicals like they keep coming out putting out statements saying like their products are natural they can vary in color and consistency right. and all that kind of stuff yeah so, so they have said that 
but um, whatever it is, I think this is maybe the like they nail the consistency with this particular batch, mm -hmm. and so both of these work together. Now you do not have to use them together. As a matter of fact, the directions on this bottle say to use something entirely different. Um, yeah, they say. Um, uh, after washing your hair with our mainstay hentonite clay treatment, then you spritz this on. So um, I do have that. Um, though they say you're not supposed to use hentonite or henna, hentonite, henna, henna, I don't know. You're not supposed to use that with highlights, so I haven't. But when I did, oh my god, I loved it. Um, but that's how you're supposed to use it, but I don't. I always use it with this, and this is a great combo. And again, protein. My hair loves protein, so it just loves. So these are the standout protein treatments that I reach for. Uh, oh wait, did you do? Wait, I have one more. I have one more. Okay, you want to do yours? Okay. I do have one more. So um, we also have a treatment Tuesday on this, and when I tried mm -hmm. it, I liked it. Um, I brought it out of the box to like reach for it again because I want to try it again. But this is one of those like combination protein moisture. I actually call it a protein moisture replenisher, but it's the Myel. The Babasu and Mint Deep Conditioner, and it's like a moisture protein mix, and um, I really like this. Mm -hmm. uh, I thought my hair looked great after I used it again. Um, I like those kind of like protein moisture mix because it's like, you know, I'm still getting my moisture, but I'm also getting like my protein, which I don't really like, but I know I need. Um, Was that amongst so. their first line that they rolled out? I think so. Okay. Yeah, and so it's always had like rave reviews on it, and so when I finally tried it, I was like, oh yeah, I see the hype. I like this. So, okay. yeah. Ooh, it smells minty. Oh, yeah, I don't know why it doesn't stand out in my mind. So I don't. Did you try it that time? We did a treatment know. Tuesday. I don't think you tried. It. I think Maybe I tried this try and you did something else. So normally, like I'm the connoisseur of the protein. Okay, so I have to put this out and I'll put the TGIN out so okay. you can you can try those. All right, guys. Okay. And last but not least, hope it fits into the category. I believe it does. Again, because I look for the words repair. Okay, so it says um, this is by Weed Ad Curl Recovery Meltdown Extreme Repair Mask dry damaged textures so i looked today i looked um and i believe underneath it, did you see no like their ingredients oh, are underneath oh. now you guys know i'm not i can't see that <laughs> are you kidding me <laughs> are you kidding me um but because of the word repair let's just let's just hold let's just wait and see right. can you see anything girl but if it does this my hair loves it definitely bounces back um it has a learning curve and we finally mastered it the first time my neck was on fire because it warms up somehow some way as part of like the way it does what it does um, but the results it smells fabulous mm -hmm. the results are wonderful I believe it is you guys tell me does it be long that's why I left it to the yeah. end girl you're so busted I think girl, <laughs> one of these long words might be something with protein in it so this is a little bit of protein treatments and like just other treatments that we like <laughs> that may or may not have protein yeah okay girl I'm not sure if this is what for you guys that know me who knows what i'm going to say the basket what color is the basket in the bathroom that i keep those are the things that that i reach for all the time um and then like i always say if you go into my closet turn left okay those are the things that are like next in line to be reached for but um the stuff in the bathroom in the basket are the things i always reach for and that was in the basket and when my hair is kind of looking like crazy i put it in and the bounce back yeah um, so i believe it does have some sort of protein okay though i've never known we'd had to really stand out with something like that right no uh, guys this is just a good protein a good treatment that yeah. she likes my hair loves protein and it works for me so if you, sure. if you if your hair loves protein and yeah that's so want to try something new um that's, but there's so many others we try less are expensive on the table that i've showed today but yeah. um if you're in a bougie mood main takeaway Get Mish. Main takeaway. Absolutely. <laughs> Get Mish. Yeah. Get Mish, not sponsored. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, d I would have to say, main takeaway. Yeah. Yep. Mish is amazing. Yep. Unless your hair is extremely, extremely, extremely damaged and yes. busted, then get the Afo G. Afo G. Afo G. Like, and I would probably take baby steps. I probably would start with this two part yeah. um, little pack. Mm -hmm. This, um, the, the kit, the hair strengthening, strengthening kit. kit. I looked it up. Yes. Hair strengthening right. kit. Here. Okay, and like this is supposed to last the results like three weeks, whereas the original was six weeks. Okay. So, um, yeah. 
Yeah. Got it right there. So guys, so you have often asked what we like. That's a video like you said we did not have on our channel yeah. about protein. We also don't have stylers, and I feel like because I we right. went to do that video and it was just too hard. Like I was reading, like you saw, we probably have some mistakes in here which you guys mm -hmm. probably don't call out in the comments. Um, but trying to do it with stylers was like a whole different ball game. So mm -hmm. I think I started to put that video together and just like quit. Like this is too much. We have too many products. I don't mm -hmm. know what has protein. This is crazy. Like I so. do though because um I know what my hair lights so i okay. do know things that girl perhaps. of course you do girl like we did <laughs> <laughs> no but like if you want to see some stylers with protein in it we can get that video together yeah yeah see what we can do with that these are just the types of videos we have tons of these types mm -hmm. of videos on our channel like yeah. you know now we have the favorite protein deep conditioners. we have favorite moisture deep conditioners. we have yeah. best conditioners and stylers with slip mm -hmm. cleansers with slip like we have all glycerin free, glycerin free. Um, two years in a row we did that we did and i think we updated this year last yep. year when we went to the south we realized best that. um no yep. gel wash and go so like just a video of creams best gel just gel wash and go yes it's like we have like so many videos that just have like categories so definitely search our channel yeah you know surf it some people are like oh i've been to watch your videos like there's so many i feel like i think we have now with this video yeah like 443 videos on this channel really it's not crazy wow it's crazy all right okay so if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up for effort and mm -hmm. subscribe to our channel to join the madness and the mad girls fam, mad girls fam. and we'll see you in our next video we'll see you in our next okay. video all right bye, bye.